So uh, there's an interesting abstract out uh, on updates on the Polarix trial. As most people will know, the Polarix trial was a randomized trial of polar chip, polichizumab plus R chip versus R chop in patients with untreated diffuse large B cell lymphoma. It was a large randomized phase three controlled trial. And there's been an evolving story this year since the uh, FDA's Oncology Drug Advisory Committee that maybe there are differential effects in different subgroups in this trial. For many years, there have been attempts to better define diffuse large B cell lymphoma biology, and they're getting better and better and more complex, but we still haven't really solved that. And one of the uh, most popular and most commonly used in clinical practice ways is by cell of origin. That is, you have activated B cell or ABC type and GCB or germinal center B cell like type, and then there's a group that uh, don't fit either cat category as well, not otherwise specified. And so this is the categorization that's been around for a long time. It's definitely not perfect, but it's one that's commonly used in practice. And interestingly, um, it looks like in the Polarix trial that uh, Polar chip worked better in the group of patients with ABC subtype, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And that's important because this is a group that typically has worse outcomes than the GCB type um, uh, patients. Uh, it's important to note that in the trial, uh, gene expression profiling was used to um, define ABC and GCB type, which is different to how it's done in clinical practice, which is using the slightly less accurate Hans characterization.